I want to go over something uh, unique way to use a zapper, and it's uh, maybe it is my idea. I don't know. Maybe it is, or maybe it isn't. But I got the idea from a patent I saw about using direct electricity as a method to, um, you know, work against dental infections, gum infections, gum disease. And I know there's a lot of other things you could do topically. Like you can use uh, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, on like dental infections or, or gum disease. But there's one drawback to that stuff, especially like uh, if the tooth or something is infected where something it topically does not reach, does not reach. And you could say, you know, the doctor can give you, I guess, antibiotics and things. But this is where uh, a zapper might come in handy. Now... I know there's a patent, I forgot where the patent is, to tell you the truth. I've seen it a couple years ago, and it's a patent. It doesn't mean it's proof anyway. It's a patent pending, actually. It was about using direct electricity to um, work against uh, gum disease, dental infections, and that type of stuff. But, you know, we're, but the thing is, the advantage of using electricity is that it doesn't require much current to theoretically disable a microbe and the electricity will pass deep into the gum tissue and whereas something that's topical it only gets on the outside unless you go to the doctor and you give it, get, get a medicine or something that can reach the area but you know everything with a medicine there's always a downside it's like you know you got, no matter what medicine it is there's a side effect you know, and the doctors figure this out because they the way against, you know, the plus is much greater than the minus side of whatever the medicine side effect is. But I want to, now I'm doing this, I'm not going to say it's a guarantee for you. I'm not telling you, I don't sell zappers or anything, you know, I don't sell anything. I got a bunch of zappers. And, you know, I figured this is not a bad idea. I'm doing this because, actually, I've read that. Uh, a lot of things in the body that are that happen to the body, even through heart disease and things like that, a lot of times are related to dental infections. Like dental areas in your mouth that even you like you brush your teeth and you do mouthwash and floss. There's areas in your mouth that could be deposits of where infectious disease can be, and it, and it just stays there. And it's constantly going back in the bloodstream, and your body fights it off. You take antioxidants. That's why they say, even when you have wisdom teeth and taken out, there could be reservoirs in there, some place where there's dental infections. There could be problems with root canals. They're a source of problems. Sometimes they say, you know, it's more like the alternative people say this, but it's probably very legit. But I'm going to put this theory out there because I'm doing it. And I don't even think, I think it's a little more than a theory, though, because it goes along the logic of the, the, the patent we're using DC electricity, except you're using a zapper, which should be much more effective. But if you already own a zapper, you might want to try this. And I'm doing it, okay? That's all I'm saying. Now, for instance, I have a power zapper, uh, CC2. I also have the Extreme uh, with the 30,000... Hertz setting. This power zapper has like four settings for the uh, 30,000 Hertz in mode 2. I don't want to make this too complicated, but what I'm saying is usually you want it like I'm going to apply like one of these electrodes. I'm going to hold the green one, which is the ground, and this is the positive electrode. I'm holding it in a plastic bag because I don't want the electricity to go through my hand. I want it to go through the jawbone like that here and it goes through the body to the other side now there's a lot of different brands you can use but I just want to say that it is if you're using the 30,000 Hertz Hertz it's not that's Hertz okay usually you don't feel that it's very di it's difficult to feel it and your mouth is a very sensitive part of the body so you if you use a low Hertz it's going to go zap. You don't want something like that. That's why you want to use the higher hertz. And um, if you have, I guess, the my zapper, you might want to put it in the MX mode. It's around 2,500 hertz. That might sting a little bit, though. But if you have a zapper with the 
30,000. So this one, if you, let's see, you turn it on, it's on. We go to mode two, and mode two has a double blink, blink, blink. <laughs> That's the 30,000. So when you make the connection, I don't really feel nothing. It's like not, not much. I might feel it a little bit in here in the front. But what's going on is if I can feel it a little bit in my gums, that means, uh, and it, you would hold it here for so many minutes, that means you're actually getting the positive offset going right through where the gums are and the roots of the teeth which is a lot of times that's where you get problems deep down because the brushing can't get there you want to get at those microbes I don't think this is a bad idea I don't th I don't think anybody's actually presented this on YouTube now I could try it with let's turn this off I could try it with mode one let me use one two this is mode five this is like the uh, power zapper MX mode I can feel that a little bit. In the front, I can feel it quite a bit. <laughs> so if you actually have a zapper that you can put on 30,000 hertz, that actually has very good penetration. You probably want to use that setting for this and use the positive offset side. Um, the side with the plus. Because Holda Clark said, and you know, I know some people have her just detractors for her, but she says the positive offset will cause pathogens to be killed or stunned whereas it also it boosts the body's own immune cells and it supercharges the immune cells there's you know the pathogens actually have an opposite electrical charge in the body cells and that's probably why that works that's her words not my words but she's not the only one that agrees with that that's in the alternative uh, energy medicine electro medicine world uh, it's probably good so if but what I'm saying is a lot of times uh, I'm gonna start doing this because I, I didn't think it is till like a, about a day ago and I was thinking damn I says you know what made me think of it was the, does the patent on DC voltage it's a patent pending actually on DC voltage that could be used to um, knock out the pathogens and microbes in in the mouth now I do know in some circles in the alternative world they kinda do do this actually cavities are from bacteria and a lot of times the problems you'll have with gum disease is even if you floss and you do mouthwash and you brush twice a day and all that stuff you can still get it because it's deep down and it's not where the brushing is, whereas microelectricity will penetrate that. Now, using the 30,000 hertz setting on the zapper, um, well, I can give you that as a fact. The higher the, the frequency, the better the penetration, and the less you feel it. So that's that would be a better choice to use the 30,000 setting on the Holder Clark zapper for this thing because. Some of it, it's sensitive. If you're using 2500 hertz, it's sensitive. You can feel it. If it's 30,000 hertz, you can barely feel it or not feel it at all. And it should provide good penetration. And I think the theories are correct, but I just want to really present this to people that already have zappers. You might want to try this. I'm doing it. I decided to do this because it's my understanding that microbes in the mouth that are actually deep down maybe below where the roots of the teeth are in the jawbone in where you might have had fillings where you had wisdom teeth removed or if you had a root canal or something are actually a source of of problems for the body that are in different other areas of the body because your actually your heart and your mouth is actually linked it is actually there's two places in the body where pathogens can really thrive. The number one place is in the gut, and that's also the number one place where you have the main part of your immune system. The number two place where pathogens survive generally is in the mouth, even if you brush, because it's in the areas you can't reach with brushing. So it's probably a good theory 
it, well, if the microelectricity and the zappers do work against the microbes, applying them in such a manner, as I said, should work. I mean, I, I can't do a study on it. You know, I can't say, but I'm doing it. I'm going to be doing this. I think it's a slick idea. So I'm setting this on the 30,000 settings, and I use a plastic bag in this hand because I don't want, when I'm holding this, I don't want the electricity to go through here. You know, I'm holding the, the ground side in the other hand. I don't want the electricity to go through my hand. I want it to go from the part that's going to be touched here to here. And this is the positive, the positive offset side is the side I'm holding to the face. So it should go through the gums. It should go through where, you know, the, the bottom part of the teeth or the middle part of the teeth. And the elect as this electricity, this square wave, 100% positive offset frequency travels through that area, it should knock out microbes that are probably that are deep down, that can't be reached by brushing or mouthwash, and. I think it's a slick idea. It's unproven, but I do know there are certain alternative. I think there are certain alternative people that have used this. I've never seen anything on YouTube, though. It may exist, but maybe I didn't find it. I don't know. But I like putting out things that I think may be useful that are no money out of the pocket because I think a lot of people do have these zappers that may watch this video. And even if you don't have a zapper, they're, I'm just, I don't want to say what they get. I mean, there's, you know, even if you don't want to invest a lot of money, you can get a $50 zapper. This one is $159. This is actually a super, super deal because it's 29 frequencies and it's constant current. Um, this is a good deal for a mid-grade zapper. And... They got high-end ones like the mini zappers in one that are like $350. I have one of those. It's an excellent quality zapper. But you know, if if you just don't if you if you're really on the border for trying this, and I'm not saying it's gonna work, yeah, you just might want to invest a small amount of money and give it a try and whatever. So but it should not it should not do any harm that's for sure you do not use the green ground on the mouth you would actually use the part the red part the part that you want to knock out wherever the pathogens are the positive offset side the plus side anyway over and out I just figured I'd present this I'm gonna be doing it you know I think it's a smart idea I'm gonna be doing it like I said the mouth is the number two place where pathogens reside. Many times there's res reservoirs of pathogens in the mouth that you can't reach with brushing and mouthwash. Those reservoirs keep, you know, keep going and they're constantly bringing pathogens into the bloodstream. It could affect your heart, it could affect other organs and things like that. It could suppress your immune system even or whatever. Uh, so if you can knock those out theoretically, I think this would work. You know, I just, I just, you know, I can't fund a study on it or nothing, but I think it would work. I think it would work, and uh, it's analogous to that patent pending on the DC current to knock out microbes in the mouth. So, anyway, just for to present this because it's a little bit thinking outside the box, and it seems to make pure logic, logical sense to me. If you understand how zappers supposedly. The theory of zappers work, you know, and I guess the drawback to zappers is they can't reach all areas of the body, but if you're holding this against here, and you can kind of feel it in there a little bit, it should be reaching that area. So I'm thinking it's got to work, but anyway, over now.